You know, the nice thing about using phones as side mirrors is that I can also use them as a selfie cam. Beach right there. I'm in Spain, y'all. I'm in Spain. It is all about how tech brings us closer. Because what's the point of sharing awkward moments on social media if people don't actually see them? My name is Simone Yatch, and I am uh, quite the expert in the relationship between humans and technology. It's not that impressive. And I will be traveling across Europe to see what this digital transformation actually means. Humankind stands at the precipice of a new evolutionary identity. Oh. <laughs> As we enter this digital age, it's not just about the technology we use, but how it's turning our world into a giant group chat that is available 24 seven. traditional food market in Malaga to see how it's getting a digital makeover. Turns out that trufa in English is trufa. Yes. Mucha gracia. Gracias. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Simone. Juan. Juan. Fernanda. Nice to meet you. How long have you been selling produce for here? ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas vendiendo productos aquí? Desde, desde siempre. Mis padres comenzaron aquí en 1958. Yo llevo trabajando aquí desde pequeño. Look, coming, photograph. Oh, wow. I am there. Oh, that's me? Yeah. <laughs> my father and my mother, mis padres se jubilaron, lo dejaron y yo seguí con mi mujer. How do you use technology in your work? Actualmente el mercado municipal ha puesto wifi para todos los puestos. Forma de pago, a través del ordenador, con internet, tomamos pedidos, enviamos, hacemos las facturas, cobramos, hemos evolucionado en ese sentido notablemente. Antes solamente se veían mujeres comprando, Hoy día ha cambiado tanto que el 70% de un sábado pueden ser hombres. Yeah. Was the cheese a lot with respect to the clientele. Men do more of the shopping. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice. Han cambiado mucho, la vida ha evolucionado muchísimo, muchísimo. Can I buy one of these? That was very nice. I didn't have breakfast, I'm hungry. Bueno, pues bienvenidos a Málaga. Estamos en uno de nuestros mercados municipales. Tenemos en Málaga una red de mercados de 15. Este es un reflejo de nuestra cultura, de nuestras tradiciones. Who says technology has to change our ways? Here, we're not just using tech for tech's sake. We're using it to do what we've always done, just a little bit better. Estamos en este momento ultimando la red wifi que lógicamente va a permitir el acceso libre, el acceso gratuito, no solamente bueno pues a los usuarios, a los consumidores que vengan hasta este mercado, poder ofrecer el producto no solamente a los malagueños, sino también a otros posibles consumidores que estén eh, fuera de este horario comercial o incluso fuera de nuestra frontera, fuera de, de Málaga. Oh my God, look at how much she charged me. She's so sweet. Open these? Yeah, so good. Gracias. Let's leave the bustling market and head to the heart of governance to see how Malaga is becoming a smart historical city. Hola. Hola. 
Hola. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Bienvenida. Can you tell me more about the transformation that Malaga is going through right now? Desde un punto de vista socioeconómico se ha generado un entorno, un ecosistema emprendedor basado en la tecnología y la ciudad de Málaga hacia la Smart City. La transformación digital está calando en todos los sectores de la ciudad. Trabajamos en diferentes sectores, sobre todo hacia el ciudadano, en ofrecerle una interfaz mucho más amigable y sencillo. Bueno, aquí veis cómo a través de esta red, de esta conectividad, vais a tener acceso a plataformas de formación para mejorar vuestras capacidades de venta, para llegar también a otros clientes, aprender inglés, etc. De una carnicería, una pescadería o una frutería que tradicionalmente era todo muy analógico, eso está transformando pues la forma de comerciar en los mercados tradicionales. If this is 2.0, what is 3.0 look like? Lo siguiente que vamos a hacer es lanzar la plataforma de marketplace donde se va a poder hacer el comercio eh, online a todos los comercios de mercado. From smart city streets to rural charm, tech is bridging the gap. Next, we're heading to a vineyard in Germany that's keeping their legacy alive while also modernizing their craft. Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. you. Victoria. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our winery. This yeah. is so cool. Or at least the production side of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. This is the place where we keep our treasures. Wow. I knew I was here. Oh! <laughs> That's amazing. It's like the archives. Yeah. The wine archive. Here you can see also the evolution of our labels. For example, we have here one bottle from 1960 for our grandfather. Yeah was the, the winemaker, now he is the boss of the vineyard. It's a family business. <laughs> yeah. uh, starting from our grandfather, our, our father who implemented all the technical side. We also have to take the next step. We bring a little bit more modernization yeah. into it. And so therefore, we have an app. An app called Vineyard Cloud. Wait, and all of these are your vineyards? We have over 600 different the, parcels. No. And this is how we can organize and track the work that has to be done in the vineyards. Mm. Yeah. Our co-workers can say, okay, well, I already drove through this and this vineyard and they can click on it. And so we can see, okay, it's green, so it's done. We can all manage this over Vineyard Cloud to make it more easily to find uh, the vineyards, the parcels, you know? How I mean, did this happen before? Like, I, I just know, can't, I yeah. Just remembering in your brain, basically, oh. and on a piece of paper. So cool that each generation has their own new thing that yeah. they bring in. Your dad bringing in all the machinery, and then you're bringing in all this digitalization, and it's the only way to maintain the tradition is to modernize it as well, mm. because it needs to be able to survive. Yeah, you have to respect the tradition and the legacy, yeah. but to respect it, you also have to modernize it. And this is now our monopoly vineyard, which is called Bovala St. Annaberg. Yeah. Same name as the winery St. Annaberg. Because this is a vineyard that is just owned by us as a family. Yeah. So no other winemakers who are spreading pesticides or something. Uh, and therefore it's possible to work organic here. Who's this guy? This is actually a small little nice weather station regarding measuring all the kind of weather, wind cast, as well as the um, soil moisture, etc. It's actually for um, helping Vicky and Julia with, with an investigation with pest reducement. They can actually use the app to do all the process management, to uh, do surveys and so on and so on. So this entire system runs mm -hmm. on 5G. Why 5G? Because we have a lot of data. As soon as we're talking about root optimization regarding artificial intelligence, we need actual tractors. We need other sensors like the weather station, but as well as camera solutions like imagery. And this is a lot of data. And they, unfortunately, um, we can't assume that the actual hardware on the tractor is able to calculate all the stuff. If we would have more or better 5G everywhere, 
and a direct interconnection, we could do all the stuff directly. So that we have a better decision management for the workers in the tractors or for Vicky or for Julia regarding their quality measurements and so on. So the 5G is the artery that sends, or the nervous signal you look, that sends everything to the brain look, where we're, all the thinking happens. We're, we're in Germany. We have the most famous autobahn where we can go as fast as we want to, but unfortunately we have a connection where we can only go something like, I don't know, 50, or 60, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. But on the other hand, there are smart people who are saying, okay, we can interconnect cloud, we can do AI, we can do whatever but we are limited of, okay, we can't go as fast. Calling 5G the Autobahn of the internet is Here the most German thing I've ever heard. I think the Germans will understand it. Everywhere else in the world, they will understand it yeah. as well, yeah. <laughs>
It's interesting how all of these technologies and working with robots ends up making the workplace more humane. Our robot friends are reshaping the flow of goods across Europe and bringing in a new era of industrial efficiency. I've heard so much about how technology is changing industries and work, but it can be hard to imagine what that actually means on a practical level for everyone from customers to business owners to people with really physically demanding jobs. The interesting thing is that working alongside technology somehow lets us be more human. Where do we draw the line though? Only the future can tell.